Napoleon said, Napoleon said, I am my own ancestors. And I, I actually think that's the way Tony and I both thought about it. I think that's what pulled us together in the first place. That and the fact that I had a bloody tip-top figure. Mummy and Daddy were quite rootless, really. Well, I think a lot of people were when they came back from the war, but... I mean, the slight difference was that the Daddy, Daddy didn't actually go to the war. Because, um... Very soon after war was declared, Daddy had an accident. They were... They were all at this big ice rink, and, um... They're going, he was going around at the back of a crocodile. They were all having a high old time skating away, and... And somehow he let go, I don't know, he got flicked off, I don't know, and he was shot into the bandstand. He was proud, but he was also quite clever. He didn't claim disability. Um, because, well, he'd heard, he'd heard of a man who pretended he'd got a bad back, and they took him to a hospital and they operated. And when they found out that it, it, that it wasn't bad, they hit his spine with a mallet. So Daddy decided that the best thing would be to lie low. Well, well, to disappear, actually. But don't get me wrong, I had a very happy childhood. I spent most of it in the cinema. Very educational. You know that scene in Viva Zapata where Marlon Brando gets shot and he just falls to his knees? I would have done exactly the same thing. And in Giant, when James Dean marks out his land with great, huge strides, that's exactly... Perfect. And when Gregory Peck leaves the courtroom in To Kill a Mockingbird and the black man up in the gallery where the children are, he's, he gets them up to their feet and he says, Stand up, children. That's your father passing by. I don't know why that really struck a note with me.